I know love Ranbir Kapoor, but lately they seem to have trained their sights on another young Kapoor, Arjun Kapoor. Now, I must admit, I don't exactly get what the big fuss is about. There's no doubt about it, however, that Arjun's got the ladies in a swoon. But even if Arjun is encroaching on Ranbir's female fan base, it seems it hasn't stopped them from forming a little gang of their own. After sweeping Khan off his designer feet and Rak Kashyap and his rustic gangs of Wasepur have hit a fan base closer home at this special screening of the film held by fellow filmmaker Imtiaz Ali. And when Imtiaz invites, his rock star hero always complies. But what was surprising was Ranbir's latest popcorn and film companion. No, not a lissom lass, but Arjun Kapoor. After all, it's always good to keep your competitors close. And even though this was one screening, screaming star power, for once it was the unruly thugs of Wasepur who everyone wanted to gang up with and we quote. Anurag is a fabulous director and I've been a big fan of him. I totally love the music of the film, especially the Hunter song. I'm hoping that it will be a great film. I'm a huge Anurag's fan. I was really excited to see this film because everybody's talking about this film for a while now. And the film is fantastic. Now that's a gang with some serious celebrity clout. She may have films pouring into her kitty right now, but the only pouring Miss Balan is perhaps concerned about right now is how to give a picture-perfect shot in the generous Mumbai rains. As a new Rajkumar Gupta film, Khan Chakka requires her to be romanced by Imran Hashmi in the treacherous monsoon season. The idea is to shoot the lead pair on the rain-soaked streets of Mumbai with secret cameras. Definitely a daunting task for any actress, but Vidya is one actress who certainly knows how to go with the flow literally in this case. The film will be ready for release in the first half of 2013. Betty B. Aradhya may have been literally kept under wraps to keep her away from prying eyes, but then you can hardly stop a doting grandmom from leaking out a snippet of information and we quote from Jaya Bachchan's latest interview to BBC. Aradhya looks a bit of Aishwarya and a bit of Abhishek. Aradhya is not intimidated to faces, she is beautiful. I call her strawberry because when she was born, she reminded me of a strawberry. She is always smiling, touch wood. Now she's trying to crawl and is special to us. Enough to whet your appetite for the first baby pictures as and when they finally surface. But for now, the only glimpse you may get is a sneak peek of mom Ash protectively clutching baby B and shopping for designer baby clothes. Meet the Khan with the golden heart, spontaneous in his generosity and being human enough to greet his fans with childlike zeal. Evident enough at this charity event set up in the Middle East by his foundation. Now say hello to Salman Khan who is accused of throwing his weight around the hapless unit members who work with him. Yes, according to tabloid reports, the temperamental actor has issued a new rule on sets his new Yashraj film, Ekta Tiger, where he has barred unit members from summoning him for a shot while he is in his vanity van even if it means delaying the shoot. Now we all know that there can be no smoke without fire, but then even one as dabang as Salman would be hard pressed to carry this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde persona seamlessly. After all, he is but only human. Say hello to our country's most beautiful Korea girl. As ever eager to help girlfriend Bebo carry the film contract on behalf of filmmakers Milan Lutria and Bhushan Kumar for Sefu to promptly sign in London. Sef has been stationed in London for a Patodi family dinner when the filmmakers needed him to sign the relevant papers. If only we could have seen Sefu's expression when Karina landed up on his doorstep claiming you've got me.